More than 12,000 Canadians have now died from COVID-19, and each day dozens more are added to the list. There are too many to name, but we know there are families across this country who are mourning. Tonight, Heather Urex West has the story of one of them. We just happened to turn on the evening news, and my dad's death was being reported. And it, you know, it was just a man in his 80s. It's how, since the beginning of this pandemic, all deaths have been shared. No names, just ages and genders. But for Catalin Lang, her father, Yosef, was so much more. So the next day, she wrote a post on Facebook that's now been shared more than 2,000 times. There are so many numbers announced every day with regards to this pandemic. Active cases, recovered cases. Then there are the numbers that people throw around about survival rates. Well, here are a few more. 54, the number of years my parents were married and completely devoted to each other. When Lang moved to Clifton Manor, a long-term care centre down the road last year, his wife visited twice a day. To go and sit with him and be with him and watch TV with him. In the spring, for three months, those visits were put on pause. Clifton Manor experienced several outbreaks, but each time Lang avoided infection until a single case in mid-November caught fire. It took less than a week for the virus to take his life. By Wednesday, uh, it was he, he, he started deteriorating, and by late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, he was gone. Lang's daughter wanted to share her family's grief on social media because she knows they're not alone. There have been thousands of others and dozens more each day whose deaths may be reported as numbers, but to their families, they were so much more. So tonight on the news, you'll hear about a man in his 80s who died from COVID. Know that he was loved and adored. Know that he was the beating heart of my family. And know that there isn't a number large enough to accurately sum up the loss we feel today. Yoja Flang, 1932 to 2020. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.